We never really talk, so I just wanted to take an opportunity to ask a couple of questions. Um, good. Uh, magic was kind of the point of your speech. It was weird. We we're talking about advertising and design, and I was wondering if we could just review how is magic something that's relevant to advertising and design and, and where those are at today? Well, um, I began studying magic when I was a kid, a little kid, and uh, it was the Dunninger's Book of Magic. It's a beautiful book, um, all hand, hand illustration, and it's a wonderful thing that explained how all these tricks worked. And it broke magic down into 19 different principles of restoration and disappearance and reappearance and transposition. And these are the same sorts of things that we do in design, where we take something and we think about it in all these different ways. And we might just call it the way we think or instinct or training or anything, but it's nice to have kind of a, I don't know, like a, a, a map or some sort of periodic table of that sort of crazy thinking. Um, that's kind of what I use. And I do love magic, and I do actually love magic tricks. I mean, you want, you want to see one? I mean, actually, but, but, tell me, you, you got a favorite card? What's your favorite card? Uh, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the Seven of Diamonds. How about that? That'd be fun. I mean, I don't know. The main point is that, honestly, the, the you know a lot of people teach the fundamentals of how things work, but kind of learning to love this business, uh, th there is magic in it. Uh, what about the card? That was pretty good.